and this with wait what this is franchise kingdom sorry about that and we are here for after the last airbender the search part two less time on the graphic novels ang did not much tough not even appear but uh zuko together with his beloved best sister of the week um azula search for his um for their lost mother ursa ursa right um so in the end we get the shocking most shocking ever uh reveal of the whole franchise avatar the last airbender zuko may not be ozai's son dum, dum, dum. and with that we begin the second one ah yeah and i, for, I forgot to tell we have we now have um, a new path and um is a giant wolf cool right so let's begin <clears throat> uh, no, 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 no. Wait. Oh yeah, and it's a little sh so I will have to to read. Sorry, I'm gonna try not read that much on this one. Yeah, uh, Azula is having nightmares with her mother again. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, I did not finish reading. Yeah, it's basically that Azula is uh, blaming her mom for everything. But in the end, yeah. Oh, really interesting. <laughs> Where is Zuko? <laughs> uh, this is a situation that I can say for Katara. Ah, this conversation. Oh, really, Azula? Oh, we got to see more about the past. Oh, wait. Azula was a silly devil. That is enough, young lady. Go to your room. <laughs> ah. I mean, she's totally... Oh, see, that's what I'm... Like, you can see in Ozai's look. Uh, that explains a lot. Okay, so Ozai wants to kill um, he, uh, Ursa's lover. That's gonna be really good. Yeah, 
Yeah, one more fight between Zuko and Nazula. A really good one with uh, Zuko's breakdance moves and Azula's acrobatic movements. Um, Zuko, calm down. Calm down. Did you forget everything? Like, really? Ah, Zuko. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you have the letter? <laughs> like, I really begin to think that she plans that. She, this has to be planted. Now, the question is, she planted, but it is fake? Or is she planted, but it is true? Yeah, 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 yeah. Azula really, I have to say that, I really like Azula. And she is really good manipulating people. But you have to also admit that she don't really don't have that much challenge. Like, Zuko is the easiest person ever to be manipulated. Um, and it's not that I'm not um, worried about the um, the whole uh, ecosystem of the planet, but I'm almost sure that we have something more uh, important to to get rid of, of right now. <laughs> oh, poor Soka. Oh, so, wait. So cute. Oh, here he comes. Zuko, how are you a fire than her? <laughs> what? 14? She messed What? I mean, Azul is a prodigy, I don't. <sighs> Oh, it's exactly this moment that he said about in the first season before we even knew um, Zula that she is born uh, lucky and he is born to be lucky. <laughs> Look at that traumatizing face and should not be saying that with a smile in my face, but yeah. It's just cool to see that while back. Uh, Wait, okay, you're not as good as we think if you never found him. Yeah, that's true. This is mere conjecture. You do not see a body. You don't know for sure. Ah. Wow, you will return and give a resignation. <laughs> mm. 
Wow! Amazing! I mean, see, I knew it, she knew it. <laughs> the question is, she was lying to trick him to do that? I mean, okay, like, what she, she would expect if she was, like, guessing that... It, he, he somehow uh, have really reading the letters she basically assigned uh, a confession of crime like and even if she would doubt that he would do anything against her personally he could do easily what he did and try to kill the guy so like that was kind of stupid we're a lot of stupid. Now I see where where Zuko grabbed that. What the what what is that? Like Ang, all the time that I see Ang with that headband, especially now that he is bald, it's so stupid. And Sokka is back with the beer. <laughs> Uh Ah, uh, so come. Okay, one more player <sighs> of fake fire banning and water banning. And they're talking about the Emperor of High Lord right before him. Clearly, I made a better Emperor. <laughs> It's just me or you also want to learn more about these players. Wait, what? What the fuck? Okay. Stop showing every two seconds the blue spirit. Like, it's watered down the effect, okay? It's cool, but it's watered down the effect. Okay. You're be thinking marriage, right? What? Oh my gosh. Uh. Azuko! No, wait, 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 stop everything. Wow. <laughs> ah, Zula. It's really interesting how they kind of learn more about her. We're supposed to not talk about her anymore. Wait, what? Okay.
So, ah, mystery, mystery. Uh, it's still really strange for me. Just, just me seeing Azula with everyone. Like, uh, but in that, I kind of agree with you. Yeah, so I'm really curious to, to really know uh, if if she is really alive and it, where she is and if the guy is alive, because the, the people on on the city may try to like, yeah, we're not talking about because they are alive and hidden there. Like I don't know, could be that, uh, could it be that they both get killed. I don't know. Um <sighs> It's a complicated answer. I feel that this is wrong. Like, no, he's Fire Lord because he's son of Ozai. Is that how it works in the Fire Nation? Um, if Fire Lord Ozai was not, so the second in command is Zuko because he's his son. If he's not his son, is Azula. It's simple as that. Now, if you're looking to a perspective, everyone can, if people discover about that, this can be really bad really bad saying like oh that uh, fake son is, is trying to to give like th this is gonna be really bad um i mean this can can this could be easily i i mean i don't know how much easily it would be but like uh if azula is in a hospital mental hospital you could say well she cannot do that so who is the next in section? The next will be Iro. And then Iro could adopt Zuko. Zuko. And then Iro decide to I'm not gonna be so like this gift to my son. And Zuko is just, But I don't know if the Fire Nation also has the culture of adopt sons work. And you can say, well, they can change the culture. It's not that simple. People always say, well, just change the culture is wrong. It's not that simple. Change culture like that. I, 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 let me finish this first. More flashbacks, okay. And again, Azula talking. Maybe we find a, a Earth King family to adopt you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Accidentally, yeah, I believe that. Okay, so Azula talk about that with her mother. 
which is okay that explains a lot hmm. and of course like you see you see her face when you see a face like that Azula is making you can you can think that she clearly is lying or she's telling the truth just to lure her out like it could be both things Azula could be lying and saying that Azula say that Azula actually say that he uh, Ozai should kill Azula which it's the only thing that makes sense but he could also could say which make any sense of he killing Zuko and she's saying that to uh, her mother would begin and everything will go wrong after that until I see Azulon saying specifically you had to kill Zuko I'm not gonna trust what Ozai and Azula is saying about what he said Oh, so Ozai was selling the truth. So now we finally know that really uh, Ursa planned all all that. Uh, uh, he he said that in, in a series, but now we have confirmation. See, like he clearly anticipated that. You see, he is smiling. Every time that I see more information about that time, I have more certain that uh, Azulon say to kill Azula and not Zugal. Well, I mean yeah interesting so she make that um she give goodbye to zuko yeah and that conversation about not never forgetting but of course she was really smart and said that when he's sleeping <laughs> So of course you don't remember a thing until really later on. Uh. Okay, that's town. Really strange format that we see in the in the cover. Um. You know that with your special avatar powers? No, you just say that in sign. <laughs> ah, that was good. That was good. And of course, uh, Azula wants to break a path with fire. And of course, Aang should say, Wait, no, this is uh, forest. You cannot do that. Uh... That's why I say how it's strange is to have Azula with Aang in the same place, working to the same goal. This is really strange to face that he's doing with uh, spirits. I don't remember he if he ever did something like that. Huh. Wait. I have a crazy idea, but I have to say right now, before we see anything, because if we see before that, you're going to say, well, you just see that, and you're saying that you, you predict that, but you did not predict. So I have to say right now, really fast. I think she, uh, Ursa died. Uh, because it has a long story 
in Avatar The Last Airbender about uh, spirits talking with you that uh, death is just an illusion and that really explained that uh, Ursa talking with Azula not being not being Azula being crazy but she's really actually talking with her that would, that would explain a lot also remind you that when the wolf appear, only Aang see, but the first one to see after Aang was Azula. Well, that, that may have nothing to do, but I don't know. I don't know how good she is with spiritual connection. But we see in Korra that you don't really need to be really strong with spiritual connection. Like Korra did not have any kind of strong uh, spiritual connection. But Aang was able to talk with her. So this may have nothing to do. Azula may not be really good with that. And that if she was really not good with that, that makes even a worse. Because she would become really crazy. Really thinking that she was seeing her mother. And she begins to say, well, I, I begin to be crazy, but she was actually there. Like, this would be so mind-fucking-blowing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. He wants to... Uh, perfect place to meditate. And Azula just... I'm gonna zap the water. <laughs> See, she appearing all the time. So, you, you know what's really weird? I'm gonna say what it is. If she really would be crazy and is not, it, it, it would not be as uh, Ursa talking with her, really. Probably what would happen is uh, Ursa saying, Yeah, I fuck your life. Uh, you're not my daughter. Uh, you're a monster. But no, all the time Ursa appear, she's talking, You're wrong, my my dear daughter, I love you. Uh, uh I never did anything against you or anything like that. So that makes me even more think that it is true she's she died and she's uh spirit trying to talk with her. But if that is true. If that is true, why should never talk with Zuko? Oh my gosh, so much thing to say. I have to finish this before. And again, we have an evil fight, of course. And we have flowers? What the fuck? That is weird. Okay, someone's banging the water. Okay, we have the guy here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Azul is right. Ah, Zuko, you don't need help. I mean, that is a, a time for Katara. If that if that was one before. And uh, we have waterbenders. What? What? More waterbenders? Special waterbenders? A guy with a huge mask? Oh. Oh, that's that sad. I mean, it makes sense. A lot of time pass. So, yeah. Uh, I'm really beginning to think that she died. 
because I see parallels a lot. I have to wait to finish. I mean, Katara has a good uh, question. What two people from the water, not a fur, what a tribe doing in foreign nation territory? But you, if you really remember, we have uh, some people from the, I don't know where, which one, what a tribe in the uh, Earth Kingdom territory, which became the swamp. So, I mean, of course, they are in the swamp for, I don't know how much. Uh, ages into our, like the descendants probably because they never knew that we had water bands in other blades and these of course are from the north and they get off the north from here so it's different but yeah I see a lot of similarities. I live to, by the rules and he lives to break. Yeah, I see some similarity in some other brothers. Okay, what well, librarian? Don't tell me it's the librarian that I think, or it's just a librarian in the North Pole. I don't know. <laughs> okay, a Fire Nation spirit that has a power to heal. You think the same spirit that I? I mean, you didn't sneak in the Fire Nation. I don't know how the policy is about uh, going into other nations, but technically, I, I mean, I mean, forget it. I mean, you're gonna die if you don't eat anything. Come on, really. See? That is a good reference to Zuko and Azula. That. Even if Azula don't like that. I mean, Zuko, to be sure, I think this was one of the most uh, not rude things that she talked in the whole life. I mean, it's not that it was not rude, it's just compare what, it, what she usually said. Okay, so <sighs> it's just an idea, but I can communicate it with spirits, right? Usually, it did not go well when he tried to communicate with, with spirits when they are trying to attack him. But when he just sit down, meditate, and try to talk with spirits, it usually goes okay. <laughs> Thank you, Saoka. Like, 
Yeah, he talked that a lot. <sighs> I begin to find their relationship really good. Oh, Azula. Ah, all the time. Really? You don't need to attack? And that is a really crazy bat, for sure. Okay, we find a wolf. Um, what is the wolf? Okay, wolf is giving him to a direction. What it is? Apparently, the wolf has a, a owner. What the? F what? What? What is that? You are the mother of faces. I mean, you have four, at least, if it probably has more uh, behind. But what is that? Okay, it's Yen. Great. Uh, wow. Again, let's begin with the ending. What the fuck was that? Uh, the mother of faces. Of the mother of all faces. I, I already forgot. Um, what the fuck was that? What kind of spirit is that? And uh, she is the owner of the wolf spirit? What the fuck that means? How can you own a spirit? I mean, I never think about the... Um, how can I say that? How the spirits live? in a way of society <laughs> but that's that's really I don't know weird I don't know if why I think that's weird like if we have spirits that live with us in a they have their own space their own dimension that they have why not like people have wolves here why spirit cannot have a spirit wolf right um, I think of all the spirits that we see, like, we have some normal spirits, like, the wolf spirit is a gigantic wolf, but it's a wolf, right? Um, even that, uh, panda, uh, spirit, uh, when he was transformed, is still, like, okay, but we have some spirits like this one, that is totally crazy, what the hell is that? Uh, that's really strange. Um, when we begin this graphic novel, I was not expecting to learn more about the spirit realm, but it looks like we're gonna learn more about it. Interesting. Um, and I think I have my theory about uh, Azula being already died makes even more sense now. And especially after that scene when she got back and see that, uh, looking for her parents and see that they are already died um, a long time. And she was like crying, but she was happy because like, okay, and, and the guys say, oh, all the memories do not need to be sad or, or something like that. Like, that makes me feel that in the end of this graphic novel, something like that will happen with Zuko. I don't know how much of impact we have in Azula. I think Zuko probably will be happy. You understand? No, I mean, of course you're going to be sad that his mom died and he never got to talk with her again. But we live in, in a universe that spirits exist, so he, he probably can. 
I don't know. Also, the whole thing about spirits, it can be way more better explained because we never really understand that. Like, avatars become a spirit, right? So normal people also can because right now, right now, the only spirits that we see outside animal spirits and all also we don't know how spirits are born maybe when you died after a long time just like stories about ghosts um you can die and you become a spirit you go to the spirit realm and then after a time you became an animal spirit maybe it can be true like i don't know they never explain how spirits are born um the only spirits human that we see were the avatars, right? And Yui, when she basically fused with the spirit, um, I'm trying to remember if we have anything more than that, but I don't think. Okay, what I think it is, I think humans can become spirits. If they had spiritual connection, so like someone like the guru or the air nomads that have a really high level of spiritual energy, concentration, whatever connection, <laughs> uh, maybe when they died they became spirits, which explain a lot of uh, all the team about death being an illusion. Um, uh, or maybe everyone when die became a spirit which further alludes to death is an illusion because everyone die and become a spirit um, that would make a lot of sense that would explain the existence of a spirit realm because we die and become a spirit oh my gosh that's so meta, like, and if she, if Ursa really died, that would, the, the bigger question if, is, if Ursa really died, and is talking really with Azula, why she never come back to Zuko? Why she only talk with Azula? I not remember she talking with Zuko. Wait, no. She talked with Zuko in the promise, right? When he had in a dream. And I always talk about when sometimes dreams are like not only dreams, right? And that makes a lot, a lot of sense. Um, we have in our universe like things about. Uh, theories about uh, dreams are more uh, gateway for another dimension and all and this could be something like that uh, Ursa trying to communicate with uh, Zuko but she can only when he's having these nightmares um, which may be also further be because when I say that Korra don't have much of a uh, spiritual connection, but she probably has more than Zuko has. Um, and Azula may be something close to her, so or maybe a little more. So that's why Ursa can communicate with her easily. That's why Aang can communicate with, uh, with uh, Korra kind of easy as well. But that's why Ursa cannot communicate with Zuko. That makes sense, right? I may just talking a lot and nothing makes sense and you were just laughing what I'm saying, probably. But like that makes a lot of sense for me right now. Um It was really cool seeing more of Azula's past and kinda seeing again scenes that we already see before, uh especially in, in the animated show. But now we see more, like we finally see that oh, uh, Ursa really did the plan of killing Azalon, um, that Ozai did not lie about it. But uh, we see uh, uh, Azula talking with Ursa about what Azula said, and we still, okay, hear me out, I know that I say this a lot, but we see 
um, only Azula saying that Azula say to kill Zuko. And Ozai confirming with a smile. Like, come on! Come on! This has to be a trap. Of course, it could be a trap with then um, with Azula saying to kill Zuko. But it's and they just like manipulating Ursa. But it still don't make sense for me, Azula, stop knowing really well that uh, uh, that Ozai don't give a damn about Zuko and absolutely love and with uh, Azula to say, yeah, you have to suffer the same as Iro. K kill your son. Yeah, he's gonna suffer so much. So much! Like, that don't make sense for me. <sighs> I still, I'm, I'm still waiting to see the scene when finally we're gonna see the scene of Azulon saying what he said to Ozai and he's saying to kill Azula. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And I, and this is maybe the thing that I'm more waiting for the whole show. Close to metal bending in second and earth bending in third. Because because I was like earth bending, earth bending. I have to see, and then I see, and I need to see metal bending. And it was such a long time until that. Yeah, I'm really waiting to see that. Um, outside that, we see more about the spirits. We see uh, two water benders that were from the north, and they're finding. Uh, they're looking, sorry, for a spirit, a fire spirit, their hills, rills. And we have such, the whole thing about this comic is about sister and brother and all. That's why we have Katara and Sokka. That's why we have Zuko and Azula. Um, even if they are completely different circumstances um and i have to say about that thing about what ang said like no if he is not ozai's son he's not uh, he's not the fire lord um if people discover that people are not liking him being fired the fire lord a lot of people don't like him being the fire lord just because what he uh, thinks and they want to uh, have probably Azula uh, or anyone outside that they really don't like him. Imagine if they discover that Zuko is not son of Ozai. Again, I give an idea of, well, if Zuko was not they would have to go to the next person. The next person in line, which I think it is, is Iro. And then Iro can adopt Zuko and that they have to endure it anyway. But I don't know the culture enough of the Fire Nation to know if the adopt sons can have a right to be the lords. There are countries in our whole in our universe that if you're an adopt son, you do not have the right. There are countries that if you're a, a woman, you do not have the right. There are countries like, I don't know, Fire Nation. Clearly, in the Fire Nation, you can be a woman and be a Fire Lord. Because uh, Azula, all the time, uh, Azula uh, was Fire Lord for some... Well, she was not actually Fire Lord, but you get it. Um, for a small time. But I don't know if you're an adopt son, you can have the right to do that. Wait, I'm just saying crazy stuff. Like, if Iro adopt, make no difference because technically Ozai will also adopt him. I don't know, I'm, I'm really beginning to be confused. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. 
I don't became Fire Lord <laughs> uh, temporarily, but he became the Fire Lord, and he makes the National D Day of Appreciation of Tea, something like that. Uh, oh, but what he said was really true. Like, if the countries uh, pick up the weapons, toss their weapons out, and bring just tea, we do not have any war in in any part of the, our planet. That's true on your in our universe as well. But everyone needs to do that. The problem is if one just do, one not, not, don't want to do. So yeah. Uh, one more. Yeah, we have more of this uh, ship between uh, Suki and um. Zugo again? I'm really beginning to think that something gonna happen. If already not happened, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think sad. I don't. I think it, it was everything. If I forget anything, you want to talk about me about something about this comic? You were surprised to learn uh, that Zuko was not. The son of Fire Lord, you were surprised to see that fucking giant spirit with four heads, maybe more. <laughs> I'm gonna say something. It just reminded me of a Pokemon. You know what one? If you don't know, I'm not gonna remember the name, but yeah, it's really reminded me. But that one here in the Avatar is way more badass. Um. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, so I'm just looking forward to next part, and we see in the next graphic novel maybe, maybe rebound, maybe the search part. Uh, it's the last part, right? The last part, maybe. I don't know. So until then, next time.